Hello and welcome to Learn Hakka Chinese Part 4, Ngai Akame and Hao Mo, and today we're going to be talking about redundant elements and their omission. So here is a short introduction, and I actually, this is best explained with examples, so let's just start. And the omission of redundant elements all depends on the situation. Is what is being said very obvious or not? Are you speaking to one person or more? And it's primarily for the use of Ngai or N, which is I or you. Okay, so our first situation is going to be very direct. We're going to speak to one person, as in one person in one room. What could be said is nkonden make. So, what are you looking at or what are you watching? Notice how n is there. You. A short form also could be used for question pattern one is verb den make. So, konden make with the omission of n. How if the situation is indirect? So three people in one room. Mu den make. Remember, mu is to do, the verb. And the problem is, who is n among the three people? So who is n? And this is, arises confusion, ambiguity, and it's not very obvious. So the solution would probably just call out the name of the person you want to speak to and then add nkonden make or nmuden make in this case. And the name could be akame nmuden make. So akame is my name. So akame nmuden make. Another example, and this time it's going to be a question. We're going to start off with a direct situation again and we're going to speak to one person in the same room. Nseya vone or pane mo. Nseya is wash and vone pane is dishes in general. Since the situation is very obvious and there's only one person in a room we're talking to, so we can resort to the short form where n or u is omitted. Nseya vone mo. A simple response could say seya. Have you guys noticed that no ngai is used since the situation is very, very obvious and therefore there is no need to say I wash the dishes. So no, no ngai in this case. Okay, now we're going to be at another uh, situation, for example, a kitchen table. Un is not going to cut it this time, so what are we going to do? Add a name. Well, we could. Or we can probably use manyin se avone. So manyin is who. Now you have to say ngai, since the situation is very obvious, not very obvious, or in this case, who washed the dishes. I say yeah. So it is a summary, and if the situation is very obvious, then we can admit, and if it's a situation not very obvious, then we do not omit. Any questions, comments, requests? Um, just comment below. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.